got scum on scum for this round. We do see a bit of a mirror in the fact that we've got double pay lobs on there, which I feel like if you're flying a good scum list, you kind of almost guaranteed have pay lob up there. He he was very, very good in 1.0. In my opinion, he's even better in 2.0, <laughs> uh, especially considering that, um, you know, tokens are harder, harder to come to by. And, and the version that Cam's flying, I think, is one of the best ships you can fly in scum, personally. That, that build, that setup is quite good, especially for how, how cheap it is. Now, of course, it's a hawk. It, you can breathe on it and it should explode. But we'll see how it works out in this game because the pale ups, uh token stacking and stealing ability uh, is, is something interesting to keep your eye out for. I'll start on Mike's list because it's the one right in front of me. Makes sense. So he's got Boba Fett in the fire spray. Uh, so his ability remains the same from first edition, mm -hmm. right? He gets to reroll mm -hmm. dice for every ship at range zero to one. Yep. So he's got the Marauder title, which gives him the ability to reroll one attack die. Also importantly is it adds that gunner slot, which is how he's able to equip Han Solo gunner. Very good upgrade. And then again, we see the triple zero, which we already know yeah. is an amazing upgrade. Uh, and then we've got Paylob, uh, we, who we just talked about a little bit. Uh, basic loadout with Trick Shot and Moldy Crow, so he can hold on to up to two focus tokens. Um, and then Forlom. So Forlom is coming up for us right now. Yeah. After you fully execute a red maneuver, gain one Calculate token. The end of the phase, you may choose one ship at range zero to one. And give them your stress, basically. And, yeah, so in, nice. in, in uh, first edition, all he could do was pass off his stress when he got into range zero, range one of something. Um, but that was at the beginning of activation. So now that it's at the big end of activation, it's a little bit different. But you used to be able to hard stop, stress somebody, check pilot stress, right. not have stress, nice. focus. Yeah. So he's a little bit more reined in for 2.0, but the, the calculate token is new. So at least when you stress yourself, you get that free calculate token. And, yeah. and over on Cam's side, is he's rocking the new uh, Scum Falcon, which is uh, not the Falcon that we know and love from the movies. It's <laughs> right. one from the new Solo movie, which is very interesting. So he's running Han Solo, as you can see. As you defend or perform primary attack, if the uh, if, the, uh, if it's obstructed, you may roll an additional attack die. So basically, uh, Scum Han has Trick Shot built in directly into his ability. But you might as well add it on there to double up. Which is exactly <laughs> that, the fact that he's rocking Trick Shot. So when it's obstructed, he's rocking a double Trick Shot. Um, he's also, okay, this is actually going to be hilarious because once you start to go through Ken's list, he picked a special one for us. Um, <clears throat> so he's also uh, uh, bringing the rigged cargo chute, which... You can drop a debris behind you, and it creates the uh, the loose cargo debris field. So, um, but then he's rocking Jabba, and Jabba's new version is uh, during the end phase. You may choose one friendly ship at range zero or two and spend one of your charges. If you do, that ship recovers one of its charges. So what that means is up to four separate times, Jabba is able to recharge loose cargo. Okay. Yeah. So then I like that. Right. So he's potentially gonna have one. And we see another one on yep. Zuckus there. And so. so he could potentially have one, two, three, four, five, six loose cargos on the map. <laughs> so on a ship, on, on a list that's heavily uh, built around trick shot, it's it's a classic. Hopefully mad he genius has enough Marie cardboard. List. He actually does. It, it, I saw it. I, when we, <laughs> we were looking earlier on, I said, if you get on stream, please fly that for me. And he's like, okay, I'll try. Um, but it, we were talking, we were joking around. He has the least thematically accurate. Millennium Falcon ever. Han's flying it. Jabba and Dengar are on the ship. <laughs> everybody's fine. It's alternate reality universe where everybody's friendly and friends, and you know they didn't they didn't go each other's way. You know Han never gave D uh, Dengar brain damage and have to have robot brain or any of that kind of stuff. Um, and then he's got the Lando's Millennium Falcon title, which is new and specific just to the um, the Falcon that's there. Which uh, if you bring you'll bring that up for us in a second. I actually don't remember what it does. The Lando's Millennium Falcon title. If you were able to bring that up for us. Me? Nope. Do you have the the Lando's Millennium Falcon title? Yeah, I actually don't remember what that does. There it is. So that's pretty cool. So that's a lot of different things you can do. Uh, but he doesn't actually have. He doesn't have. He doesn't. Die, he just. I think he just wanted an excuse to put the model he just, on there. Yeah. So that only matters if you had an escape, escape craft uh, cloed up. But the cheapest escape craft is actually twelve points. Right. So the the scum falcon is very aggressively costed, and it, I mean it also only has two attack die, which makes sense why it's a trick shot focused list. So the max cam can ever hope to achieve is five dice at range one through debris, but it, that's still potential what he can do. And then as we've seen, uh, he's running that more aggressive palob, which is running trick shot as well, which makes sense to take advantage of all the debris that cam is expecting to drop down. 
Um, it's got the engine upgrade, as we saw, is always a great thing to have on a ship that has the red boost. Being able to get a white boost out of it is amazing. Um, Moldy Crow title, we all know what that does now. We've seen it. We'll always see it. You'll never not see it on a, on a uh, Hawk. It's too good. And Triple O, which, again, is a really good option to have at range one, basically allowing you to get a free calculator to hand out some stress. Um, and then, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Zuckus, which we saw last round, being able to add an attack die to your attack pool by giving your defender an additional defense dice. Uh, again, trick shot, which means if Zuckus is firing through debris, he can add plus two dice. It's, right. It's pretty crazy. Um, the <laughs> discharge like veins is going to be interesting. There's going to be a little bit of crazy stuff happening right now because of the four alarm. The whole idea behind that is that you can take the, you can take the double ion to... To get the uh, to stop your opponent using a green token, okay. And then when you get the ion token, you can use discharge veins to, to spit your ion back oh, onto your opponent. That's it's a handy. sufficiently trolly, <laughs> and that's mad exactly genius Murray list. What yeah, Cam definitely. Is going it's for definitely here. the mad genius Cam. He loves to fly crazy stuff like this, and we love to see him fly this crazy kind of crazy stuff. So I suspect that we'll see this board get very cluttered very quickly. Um. So it looks like. Mike is moving his threes before cams. Okay, so we, I I was watching as they did the setup because the the there is a lot of pilot skill overlap here yeah. with the threes. I actually Mike. thought, Mike, yeah, Mike. So Mike has initiative. You're right because Cam plays his threes last. Yeah, which is going to be important because <clears throat> basically Mike. So that basically means that Cam's got the positional initi- uh, advantage for any of his ships for the overlaps. Of course, only one of well, actually, you know, it, it matters for Palop's boost ability. And it might matter for the G1A's ability to barrel roll. Uh, Death Revive 1991. Um, for Hansel, the maximum he can get is five dice if he drops a shoot on them. Because uh, scum, the Scum Han only has two attack dice. It's not the... It's Lando's Falcon, so it hasn't been modified. You know, I made a, special, a lot of special modifications myself. That hasn't happened yet. It's just the uh, two attack dice. Five is still pretty nasty, though. No problem. So I think the key here for Mike, because he's only running one copy of Trick Shot, is to stay as far away from debris as possible. Yeah, I would agree right? with you. And it looks like he's bringing everybody into that open lane. And the faster he does that, the, the less likely Cam's going to be able to drop the 300 different tar- rig cargo shoots he's allowed to drop this game. So target priority do you think mike is going right for han solo or do you think he prefers someone else <laughs> um <clears throat> that's interesting uh ig i wonder what ken's gonna do next round uh that's a good question you know um get that jabba out of there you know as yeah that's a, you want to mim you want to minimize the amount of cargo shoots that that um <laughs> Cam can drop, but Han is sitting on such a life pile that that's true. You're gonna you're gonna give up so much to dedicate so much of your time to chewing through all the hull and shield. Now it's less hull and shield, I think, than the um, uh, Empire Strikes Back Enter- Millennium Falcon. I might be mistaken, but I think it has less. But no, it looks like maybe that's what Mike's after. He wants to shove his ships in there as fast as possible. Now both these guys are from the same local communities, as you were saying earlier. They're both from the GRX Grand Rivers X Wing crew, so they have experience playing each other on a weekly basis. Right. So I'm sure he has some idea of the gin, gin, you know, the shenanigans of what Cam, Cam likes, likes to, to do. Yeah. So, but you see Cam coming flying out really, really fast. And All of his ships have to come keep off. His ships on the, yeah. What a troll. Cam, he's a troll. So I wonder if he's going to drop rig cargo shoots next round. Uh, which now... Mike's got to fly directly through. So Cram's basically setting up an entire wall of debris. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now when Trick Shot came out, one of our uh, one of our OG 1.0 players, um, Nick Curry, we used to love running a version of his own list that he made a trash dash. And he had dash with Trick Shot and Lando with Rick Cargo Shoot. And he would build a little debris cloud to just sit dash in the middle of and just continually fire through Trick Shot forever. So this is almost kind of what Cam's got set up here, too. All right. So it looks like Han just did some damage. Oh, uh, Death Revive 1991. Thank you for that. I actually did not realize that 
uh, the Han the that the uh, Lando's title also added the additional trick shot style um, obstructed attack die. I forgot it does that. You're right. Yeah. So six six attack dice at range one through debris. The dream is real. Let's see if Cam's able to pull it off this round. So it looks like we've gotten into some uneventful fire firing. I mean, range one, enga- turn one engagement, baby. Like this is yeah. These guys came to with play. all these big and big ish bases. Yeah, they move fast. I mean, Mike's Mike's pal is going to be out of the game for a few rounds. Uh, it's going to take his Zuckus a while to get there, whereas Cam's going to have all of his stuff set up. But the way they set up the debris cloud, he kind of forced the engagement on the open side because it's the only place that Mike could engage. Uh, from fear of, That's without right. free of fear of all the debris. This is kind of, I'm assuming, knowing Cam, this is kind of what he was probably hoping for, uh, especially with his opening engagement. He's made it so there's almost never a chance where he's not going to have debris going the way that he wants. So Boba Fett's taken some damage this round from, but, from both Han Solo mm. and Paylob. And that was just him trying to aggressively get in, hopefully, around the potential red cargo shoots. Now, this is a problem, I think. I don't know if there's a maneuver now that Boba can go through next turn where he's not flying through a debris. Because if I'm Cam, I'm, I'm clearing stress, dropping debris. And well, actually, Boba might be able to go one forward. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I've not seen these shenanigans, so I'm interested well, to see how it plays out. I've never seen this either. I'm actually kind of excited. Oh, to you just, just, just heard about it? I'm understanding the theory, but he showed it to me earlier on in the day when we were talking, but I understand the theory, and I understand the way his genius, mad, you know, evil villain mind works, so. Uh, and then based on the opening, I could totally see that happening. Now, Rick Cargo Shoot is in action, so he's going to have to clear his stress before he's able to drop it, but... Again, it's not going to matter too much. He's going to make such a huge... Like he's blocking all of it. Exactly, yes. Uh, Gus, triple eight. Yes, he has to drop the debris after the move, not before. So he's got to clear stress and then drop the debris cloud. Still, it's 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 still going to be effective where he's positioned them. And he still will be able to drop more with the job ability. Looks like we're Death just... Eight, oh, sorry, Death Revive 1991, you're right. Um, Mike's probably going to be ant- apprehensive about getting his four lum into range one to really use that, especially considering that he's going to have a hard time not getting his attack being obstructed, and he doesn't want to give Cam any other advantages as he can. We also might get into some sticky situations when we get into dropping debris onto people. <laughs> Hilariously or notoriously, there was um, a couple of... There's a bit of, a bit of discussion about how it's going to be ruled, and we'll deal with that when that comes up. Dropping debris on somebody versus moving through it. There's, I think it was already decided, wasn't it? We've decided ahead of time, but in true FFG fashion, I think it's still slightly ambiguous. Oh. But... Oh, maybe he's just going to go for going it. Going right in for Get it. Get that us in there. Driving into his own ship. Yeah. Also, I... You're sorry, Death Row, you're right. They did clarify it. It's it, they, Again, people always look for the competitive advantages wherever they can to find ways to kind of... Maybe to potentially find a complication where there might not be any. I feel like the medium-based change for the Slave 1 is huge. Oh, for sure. It, it just it almost revitalized the ship. It's, I was one of the things I was most excited about for 2.0, and I still haven't even put my on the table. Yet. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to see Boba Fett back in action. Mm-hmm. So I think Cam right now is deciding whether or not to boost or just take the focus. It looks like he just took the focus. Right. I like Cam's templates. Those are beautiful. Yeah, he designed those himself. They're very, very nice. Here it comes. I think you'll see the exact same maneuver from Han as well. One bank, clear stress, drop debris. One of four to six debris that Cam's got with him today. <laughs> this is the one thing that's super finicky about this game. You Getting that... Get some sticky tack in there. That weird drop, right? It's, just, it's, it's never clean. <clears throat> I guess you should just move your ship and then do it. Ooh, is he able to block Boba? Or does Boba fit? I can't tell because of Cam's arm. 
I think it might be a block. Yeah, that looks like a bump to me. That looks like some arms and wrists, but I think somewhere in that wrist and arm we've got a bump. Yeah. Yeah. Just, he almost made it. It was really close. Yeah, yeah, but that's an, that's an advantageous block for Cam, though, so uh, I'm assuming his Hans into the one bank as well, and then he'll have the trick shot shot, and Bobo will only have the one reroll. He's going to be able to pile. He might get half points on Bobo this round. Oh, yeah, true. We'll see. Yeah, there's actually quite a lot of health on the board. They both have a lot of work to it's do. It's true. They're very chunky ships, and it's going to take a bit of time to get through it all. I really have to say, I really like that new model for the Millennium Falcon. I haven't had a chance to open mine yet, but I really <laughs> do like it. I think it's, they did a great job on that. The new stuff looks amazing. Getting our money's worth. Mm. I mean, because, you know, if anything, I needed a... Th Technically, I think I have four Falcons now. I think I'm right there with you. Though I don't know where one of mine went, so I think whatever. Yeah, Gus Triple A, you're exactly right. It's it's it's. I guess they're trying to clarify it, but it's one of those weird, messy rules interactions. Is you put it underneath the ship? That does that mean your ship is overlapping it? It's it's. I think we need a second clarification on it. <laughs> when your clarification get, does not clarify. I mean, you know, they they said they went back and recharged all the rules to clean stuff up, but in the same respect, it is, it is still what it is. Uh, but actually, that's not so bad for Mike to be honest with you because he's gonna have zero. The, Hans' shot won't be obstructed onto Boa. No, you're right. Just because of the final positioning there. So that'll only be two dice attack. So I guess this is kind of what he's trying to figure out now. And there's, I for some reason I felt like the debris drop from the rig cargo chute was bigger, but it's not taking up as much board as real estate as yeah. I thought it might. Especially on the big bases versus the medium bases. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The whole game is so different and unique now. It feels so much different than what we were used to. We we thought we understood it all. What we missed was the triple O. Um, Cam elect to pick Boba Fett, and it was up to Mike to decide whether he took a stress on Boba Fett or gave Palab the calculate token. And he elected to give Pal Palab the calculate token. Yeah, I think I think he'll probably use Zuckus' ability on this one if it's a range one for sure. I'd use it no matter what, to be honest with you, on the Hawk. You want that Hawk dead ASAP. Yeah. And that's just probably me because I have a personal grudge against Palav. <laughs> I can't beat him. Palav is really good. Yeah. Especially in a game where tokens aren't as plentiful as they were in previous editions. But we keep saying that, but I keep feeling like I see That's a really triple. good roll. That's what you want to see. <gasps> You spend the calculate on that, and then he's still going to sit on a focus for his return fire. So you can see a perfect roll. He still only took two damage. Yeah. So Paylob is still in the game, forcing you to not take tokens and not recharge or, you know, not. He's a, he's a, he's an offensive threat. He's a defensive threat. He's almost like a mini Biggs. He's just really annoying. Yeah, but it also kind of looks like Cam kind of let him out, hang him out, hung him out to dry. Because Mike was very aggressive, and that actually might end up working to his benefit. at the end of combat yes it was <clears throat> so the uh my oh, sorry my Zrim, i think actually with java cam should only actually have six rig cargo shoots because java has to spend a charge to recharge a charge so he's already dropped his two rig cargos but he could theoretically recharge them four more times so he would have six on top of the six debris that are already in the game. So it's kind of obnoxious. <laughs> Either way you cover, cover it, it's ridiculously um, obnoxious. Yes. Who has that many rig cargo card? I don't know who bought that many Shadow Hunter. Uh, Shadow, is it Shadow Hunters? No, what are they called? Mist Hunters. Mist Hunter. No, the. Um, oh, uh, Shadow Casters. That's what it is. Shadow Hunters. We, we mixed it's a TV them up. Yeah, it's a TV show. You'd have to borrow that for sure. At least I hope so. <laughs> Otherwise, I should buy some FFG stock. So I'm assuming Cam's going to recharge one of his debris from... Yeah, 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 he recharged Zuckus. He recharged Zuckus. Okay, cool. So as we see, job is down to three, and we've got an additional red cargo shoe, which means he can just drop another one. But he probably won't, because he doesn't want to get in Han's way. <laughs> now, could you bring... Uh, uh... Yes. Thank you. Which one? Um, Jabba. 
I just want to confirm it's a zero to one. Yeah, so he can recharge Han next round. Okay, cool. I suspect that you'll probably see like a two bank or whatever and then rotate firing arc so it's facing. Facing the correct exactly, way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, Palab is, is going to feel some pain though, I think. Yeah, I mean, if I'm Mike, why am I going to chase those other two when Palab's just, right here? Yeah, just hammer Palab, get yeah. him off the board, and then sure, you're going to be stuck flying d- through debris for the rest of the game, but at least you're one ship uh, up. There's still a lot of open space to fly around. Like the like I said before, the debris didn't make take up as much space as I thought it was mm-hmm. going to. Especially considering now that the fire spray is down to a medium base ship with it, the hard one yeah. and the boost on the It like, moves pretty well. Yeah, I think it can hard one cut and then boost. It's in great position. And here we see an, uh, a new medium base barrel roll in action. So he's got three position as well, so he can line it up there. He can go all the way to the back, which is the hash mark to the front of the ship. Or sorry, um, the back of the template to the hash mark. Right. Or it can be the front of the template to, to the, the hash, hash mark. mark. So the new things are interesting. There we go. We all just learned. Some aggressive Palab flying. flying. Where's he got his arc pointed? Just out the side Ship there? Ship left. Yep. Yeah. He's going to boost, it looks like. So it's going to be, I'll steal your focus and you steal my focus. But because <laughs> Cam has initiative, he always gets back his focus. Right. Because the Moldy Crow title and Palab are silly. I did not even realize it had a 2K. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. This is the hard one. I don't think he'll push it with the boost, though. He wants to give himself the ability to see what Cam's going to do, I think. I mean, it looks like Cam's just going to continually drop debris everywhere. Yeah, that looks to be the plan. <laughs> just really load just up. Just obnoxiously the block the board off with, with stuff. Ooh, three bank clear stress on a Falcon. I did not realize that. Oh, no, it doesn't. He's not stressed, is he? Oh, that's right. He cleared it last turn. Or yeah. So he could drop. He got it. Yeah. yeah. And he can give himself the trick There's... shot dreams. And now Han's <laughs> just going to continually fly through debris for the rest of the game. Yeah, Han really likes his positioning in there, I think. So you've got some order of operation stuff to happen. Let's see what they're waiting for on the That's board. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. So Mike's Palab will steal Cam's Palab's focus. Cam will steal Palab's, uh, Mike's Palab's focus back. And nothing happens. <laughs> As I said, it's a silly ship. But then, my, then Cam also still has to resolve, resolve his triple zero as well. <laughs> They're really thinking hard out there. Well, you know, Scum is a really simple faction to play because it's fair, honest, and, and has so many things that make sense. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> They've both confused themselves. Yeah, my janky thing does this and then compounds with this and sub compounds with this, but then your janky thing does that. When you want to get the flow charts just to figure out the order of beginning combat activations, it gets silly. All, All right. right. Now we got into the real wholesome attack phase. So that should be four dice for Han, I believe. That's right. Oh, not a very good roll. He doesn't have a focus. No more damage there. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. sticking for, with the Palab. Yeah, focus the fire there. Try to get him off the board. What is that? Is that a hit, a hit crit oh, and a focus? Nice. Yeah. Ooh, so he'll spend the focus for that. Just take the one again. Still it's living. It's a crit. It will be a crit. Which crit did he say it was? Oh, we're finding out. Disabled power regulator. Before you engage, gain one ion. So he'll get it before. There you go. So you have to remember to do that. 
Okay. After you get it, but before you engage. Yeah. Because okay. everything in the crits now is before you engage, so it affects your ship directly before it does anything. Right. That's a focus for three damage, for sure. Oh. Still takes two, though. I think that's a that's dead That should pile. be dead, yeah. Simultaneous fire. He'll be able to fire back. So the ion token won't actually matter with the power regulator. I think you take the range one shot into Zuckus if you have it. It feels like that's the easier card, that's the easier ship to damage. But I might be wrong. Who knows? Yeah, that's an interesting decision. Yeah, range one over anything. Three hits is pretty good. Mm. But strip some shields. It's better than nothing. So they're chopping through the trees. Yep. So because Mike came out so aggressively at the beginning of the game, before because Cam had already committed to that whole... 4K drop shoot shenanigans because that's the way his list is designed. So far, currently, off that the first two engagements kind of have gone Mike's favor now. He, I mean, he's lost a bit of shielding on Boba, but to have the ship advantage already, that's handy. And to have to not no longer worry about Paleob stealing your tokens, yeah, it's and a bit freeing. Mike is now ahead on the damage game, which mm -hmm. boosts your confidence, which can change your play. Exactly, especially considering what's left on the table is an. Easy to hit Zuckus, Zuckus and easy to hit. That's true. Um, yeah, he's got more firepower on his side, depending on, you know, locations. But. Exactly. And this is this is kind of where Bob is going to thrive now, having the two evade dice. And it might be in his advantage. Yeah. He's and I almost always be rolling with the obstruction. I think his positioning right now is pretty decent as well. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't see Cam dropping any more rig cargo shoots anywhere that's particularly in the way. So that's the thing. Does he drop? Does he move forward one and drop one with Han, where he? Well, he he can't. He wants he to move recharge. Zekus. Did he recharge Han's as well in the last round? Uh, Victor's taking care of it, so I don't know if they called it. Okay. Maybe he's thinking. Well, he would. Only, that would be the only one for him to recharge on, so he should. It would make sense that he would. He might forget. Mm -hmm. That is an opportunity. It's true. Is it? It's not a must. It's a no. May, it's a right? may. Definitely. It's. A, I think with most charge. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think he just remembered. <laughs> we spend all this time talking about something that just waiting Works on. Works out. Well, I think he forgot. They were looking at dials. So. Ah, okay. Good. We caught it in time. No dials are placed. So that's the question. Do you think, do you do one four with Han and drop it behind you, blocking off Mike's Boba Fett going like, you know, left bank to boost and forcing him to come down that channel yeah. where you're going to be? Or... I mean, he's got enough to drop it. He can just kind of drop that's him wherever, what I'm right? He doesn't care. He just does it anyways. I might. The good thing is that his Han has to go before Mike's Boba. Sorry, after Mike's Boba, so he gets a chance to decide. Got the whole crew together up there. That's nice. Let's keep them tight. Clear some stress. That might come to you. There's no reason to push it. Yeah, absolutely. That's a good choice. Because he can still get out of this next term depending on wherever Cam drops the cargo chute. That's smart. Oh, yeah. Hard multiple, one next round. Multiple ways to get out of there. Yeah. With Palab gone, he can finally focus again. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, getting rid of Palab was probably a huge relief. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, Cam's probably, well, obviously, but probably he's not going to drop debris on his own ship. Yeah. That's what I would say. Yeah. You might as well save them. Still getting the obstructed shot, though. Yep. It's still four dice now with a focus. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty nasty. Right? Uh, not a very good roll, though. Just two hits after spending the token. Also spend the token. Zero damage. Zuckus 
Zuckus will also be able to throw four dice at him too, but that will also give Bobo four on reroll, so who knows? Yeah, it's interesting because neither of them have tokens, so That's true. you it's don't really know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. I think you got to focus on Boba, though, there. You want to try to get... It looks like Mike's going to throw it on, on uh, Zuckus. It's probably who I would throw it at. It's range three through the obstruction, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, oh. All the evades. Yeah, that was pretty good evade dice for Zuckus. Better hope you didn't use them all in one shot, though. All right, counting out dice over here. Yeah, that'll Zuckus. be three through the rock, three through the obstruction. I wonder if he's using Zuckus' ability. Yes. Ah, so there should be four for Boba then. Four of eight dice for Boba. Looks like he's got five in the pile there. We'll see. So that's. Three hits versus one evade. Yeah. Three make five makes sense because it's three three base, one through trick shot, one through ability. That's five. Yeah. So the Zuckus throws five dice at range. So both the ships can can throw six dice at range one, <laughs> if it's obstructed. Which is crazy. That's nasty. Yeah, that's silly. Doesn't look like we've got range with the other ones. Back to dials. So now here's the question because, Cam's. Han is in front of his uh, Zuckus's way. He can really only go forward and barrel roll or, or bank ship right, but then he's facing down all of Mike's list by himself because Han is going to have to go the long way around those asteroids now. Yeah. So what does he do? Does he, does he hard stop with his Zuckus? Hmm. That's a good question. I mean, he doesn't want to fly right into that mess. You're right. But hard stop isn't really going to help him either. Because he's going to have to move in that direction at some point. Mm. He doesn't want to... They have a rear firing arc? or No, no, they don't. The, the G1A? Yeah. No, it's primary, for, it's primary arc only, so he's got he's to keep a point in the direction that he's in. And also, the thing is, though, if he does hard stop and um, Mike's forelum comes into, comes into range, he's going to be able to throw four dice at that. Yeah, for sure. Actually, he'll be able to throw five dice at it. He'll be rolling three in reverse, so he could pull half points off of that. And that's only going to be a problem if Mike decides to not do the hard one with Boba to chase after Han. Because Han's arc is pointed in inside the board, so I'm not 100% sure. There's two different options here. Like, Mike could do the hard one with Boba right and chase after Han, or he could do, you know, like a one-bank ship left and then boost boost in right to kind of get in behind and on the side of Forlom and... That's the thing that Ken's yeah. got to figure out. But, That's, you know, I feel like <laughs> I'm leaning towards that option. Mm. But we'll see what Cam decides. Mm -hmm. But also, though, the maneuver of Boba to the left is the only one that's blockable. So this is the advanced sensors barrel rolling. Which opened up a lot more movement it options. It definitely does. Advanced sensors is such a powerful tool. Is he going to land on that debris up there, I though? I think he might be. Four might have taken him further than he thought. Yeah, he's definitely on it, it looks like. Oh, yeah, he's on it. It's, does he clear Boba is the question. Oh, that is a good question. Which it looks oh, like yeah, he, he does. does. He's, okay, so he's obviously flown this list. Oh, he, with a mile. It's these medium bases, you know, I don't have it don't have it down yet. Rolled a hit, but it needs to be a crit, so he's good. But I do believe that that 3-4 or the 4-4 that he did was actual stressful maneuver as well. So now he's sitting on a mm. double stress. I think right. he thought it might have just... Yeah, he probably didn't think he was going to land on it. He probably just it. thought it might just fit in between, but it was a gamble that I guess he felt it was worth taking. I mean, a range one shot from your G1A is a range one shot from your G1A. Oh, absolutely. And I think Cam might end up... Cam on is facing the... Oh, oh no, he might just have arc. Yeah, looks like he's got a range one on everybody, and he is blocking any of Boba's moves, which means... What's Boba doing? I guess he could probably... Mike might just self-bump. Because with Han Gunner... He'll have the focus anyways, and he'll also have the potential reroll from the range one. 
I think you'll probably see a self bump happening here. Oh, or I could be completely and utterly wrong. Oh, yeah. Do I... Looks like Mike okay. wants to utilize the Marauder title to get rid of Zuckus. That works. Yeah, it does. <laughs> There's a lot to think about in this list. It's very layered. There's too much to think about in this list yeah. for me personally. It's worse when I have no idea how a list works because I have no idea how yeah, to call I'm, it. I'm, I'm glad I mean, you could explain all this for everyone listening. You understood at least how these work, whether or not you could play them. Theoretically, I understand what's happening here. I know that Mike knows how to play this list infinitely better than I do. Um, that's a good choice from him because he doesn't have to worry about Han's trick Right, Han is going to be way out of the he's, way. He's not in a rush. If he can, if he can hammer Cam's um, uh, Zuckus now with two range one shots from his big heavy hitters, he can do pile on the damage, and then he can deal with Han when Han's the only thing left. Sure, he'll That's get That's a really good point. Like, he's not in a rush. No. You don't have to rush it to play the game. Yeah, so it looks like he's decided to save Han for last. Yeah, and I mean, Cam has split up his forces, so he's made it real easy for Mike to pick them off one by one. Yeah, and I wonder how much of that is familiarity with the players. Like, I wonder if Mike knew how... Cam's open engagement might go because he wants to drop those things because of Mike's aggressiveness um, and moving so far forward That's so true. fast has really been leading to his success here. Now, granted, he's he's managed to never bump and clear and do a lot of really effective um, um, positions with his ship, but I, I that has been a really big factor here. Now he's he now he's able to just peel away and just pile damage into Azuka, who's going to feel it. I'll throw four in Azakas, it looks like. Five, okay. So, he just lost his remaining shields. And four of them? I only took one. Took oh, one. Okay. just one. Yeah, he, he calculated to get a second. Oh, okay. Because he did the bread maneuver, that's right. With the calculate token. Oof. That's really good. That's what you want to see out of your Boba. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's four damage through. That's all the shields gone off Zuckus. Now the question is, does Cam take the obst potentially obstructed range one shot with his Zuckus onto Mike's forearm? Or does he take... The unobstructed range one shot onto Boba Fett. Oh, that's a good question. I was going to say probably the Forlom just to get a ship off the board, you know? Mm -hmm. All right, here comes the range one. Oh. Oof, that's brutal. Hit crit. Let's see what the crit is. As we know, they're nasty. As long as, as, long as it's not hull breach, major hull breach. Oh, sorry, there's no such thing as major and minors anymore. It's just hull breach. Ouch. Now, I mean, a little less painful than, say, a blinded pilot would have been right there. Because if that would have been a blinded pilot, it would have activated right now. Oh, that's true. So... Yeah, there's. I guess there's worse things you could get. Yeah, I mean, Holbridge is pretty terrible. <laughs> he's not going to have time to do anything to get rid of it. So I think he's going to probably do like something fast on his next maneuver and drop a rig cargo shoot directly onto Boba Fett. So it looks like he's going to fire into Thorlom. Six versus three. Oh, that's a lot of dice, but I don't see a lot of... Yeah, only one Just hit. Just one off of six dice. At least he got one damage through. Oh, that... That's unfortunate. That is. When you was, roll that many red dice. Yeah, he was forced to spend his focus, I think, on a previous round. Yeah, that's painful. To take that much damage and get nothing in return, that sucks. Again, as we were talking about, this variance is such a huge part of this game now where... There's so many less mechanics where you're auto rolling or converting or yeah. stacking or all these things. It's it, it's tough. There's a luck component for sure. Mm -hmm. 
And generally, the more you can focus multiple arcs on a single ship, the better off you're going to be. Yep. That's an, I mean, that's traditional of all X-Wing, really, but, you know, it's, it's even more prevalent. In you're not version. guaranteed anything. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure Cat's probably talking about the statistics on him only rolling one damage on six dice. <laughs> that sounds about right. I'm sure they're low. I'm going to be honest with you here. That's that's tough. I definitely think you expect to roll more than one hit on six dice. Yeah, well, you don't always get what you expect. Nope, that is 100% true, and you can't always get what you want. Yeah, I mean, what you want is six crits. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And then all the chances of that are and, real low. And then all those be direct hits and fuel leaks and everything else as we've seen and just have your ship evaporate on one turn. Yeah, so Han's still got some work to do to get himself back in the game here. Yes, he does. I guess we could see him potentially rotate his arc to maybe... Sh eh, he's going to be out of range yeah, of I, most things. I feel like he's going to do a bank maneuver at some point and just take that whole space up with the board and then spend his time to figure out what he wants to do. Yeah. He's probably going to want to... I don't know. I feel like he's probably... Maybe he even wants to go left because I think he wants to keep the debris around him. Uh, he does have a ton of... He still has two Jabba's left. Maybe he's going to go really far, like a 4 forward or a 3 bank, and then drop a debris in that open spot recharge it, do it again, and just like set himself up for this three-on-one match he's going to have very soon. <laughs> yeah. um, and I don't know if there is a green, a blue, sorry. I don't know if there is a blue maneuver that the that the G1A has that he can use to clear with his Zuckus because I, I feel like he really doesn't want his Zuckus to explode without dropping that debris token. But I don't know if there's anything he can force or if he can make Yeah, that no, there's not really any room for him to land anywhere. Yeah, absolutely. So I think it's, I think he's just bumping Thinking really hard about Boba's move up there, which is important. He's mm -hmm. facing the corner of the board at mm -hmm. this point. That's one of the problems you get into when you start relying on that rear arc is you're like, oh, no, now I'm facing this way and I have to turn around. So as Death Arrived just po pointed out for us that there was a 60% chance of at least two hits on that six dice roll. So he was below average. Not even average, below what he should have been. Oh, well, that happens, right? Sometimes sometimes <laughs> stats fail you. Well, I feel like, though, because Boba's got the Marauder title, I think he's just going to one-bank his ship left. He still has plenty of space to do oh, a yeah, one next turn. You're absolutely especially right. Especially because... He wants only, to keep the pressure on. And also, especially considering it's a medium-based ship, it's a lot easier for him to get around that tightness. If it was a large-based ship, I'd be a little bit apprehensive, too. I'd be like, oh, I'm going to hard one this turn because I don't want to get into trouble next round. But... I think he's okay. I think he get one bank, keep Marauder, keep pressure, and then hard one, and then be back around to face down Han. Yeah, I'm sure Mike is banking on killing off Zuckus this round. Which, between Palob, if he rotates his arc forward, and, and Bulba, I think that's a potential foregone conclusion. So one forward, clear one stress, get another stress. I'm assuming is what's happening here. And he rolled a crit or no? Yeah. Nice. Well, there you go. <laughs> Ooh. That sucks on that That's happens. nasty. Weapons failure. Yeah, ouch. So Palab's mobile arc is pointing in ship right? Oh, he's not yeah. even. He's just going to target lock him, eh? Just going for a primary shot. I but I mean, if his, but if he rotated his arc, his primary might, oh, that's depending true. on what's going on, it might do more. Mm-hmm. Uh, definitely does not fit. <laughs> yeah, that's wishful thinking. Clears his stress. And doesn't and move at all. Is. Yeah. Yeah, so he did the hard one. Oh, is there, a debris? That's good. is there debris underneath that? There's a debris ah. down there. Right, the one that Han dropped. So he couldn't do the one bank, I don't think. Well, he could have. Can 
Kanek, do you are talking about half points rule? I think yeah. First it was a round down, then it was a round up. Yeah, I can't. I can't recall. It might be. Who knows? It changes every week. Yeah, well, because it used to. Whatever it used to be, they made it opposite. Okay, yeah. So first they said it was round down, then they changed so it to round, round up. So now it's round up. So now it's round up. So Gus Triple it may very well be that the math is easier for on the app for it to round up. <laughs> so technically Cam's got seventy five points. Forlom just took two hits from Han. I mean, he's still chipping away, though. Yeah, he's still there. He's going to have only the one reroll from Marauder. I think, yeah. And that's just the one hit. You should be able to reroll one of those. Oh, it's... Okay. There it is, yep. Yeah. For focus, which he would have been able to have because of Han Gunner. And that's two, so that Zuckus is holding on by one. Nope, never mind. Yeah, there goes Zuckus. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Mike is happy with that outcome. Mm -hmm. I would definitely be having. And now it's three against Han. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Full health, Han. Yeah, that's true. Who can still clutter up the board with some debris. But we shall see. See, it's a good thing Palob didn't rotate his arc. Which is probably what Mike was banking on. So he's basically just trying to cover as many options as possible. I guess he figured he had front arc, so there's no need to rotate it. And that's and that's the right call. Because now he can do a hard two with his Palob and bring his arc right on the right side and Han can't focus now because yep. of all the other junk that's going to go on. Keep, keep the pressure on. That's yep. all he's got to do at this point. Yep. Now, I mean, you know, he's one shot away from losing his forelom. Boba is right. only sitting on five health. And at the end of the day, Palab only has two evade dice. And if, if Cam can get one of those two wounded ships off the board ASAP, he's far oh, yeah, from no, out Oh, yeah, no, it's game. definitely not over. No, he's far from out. And he still has a bunch of... You know, he still has a couple of tokens, so he can still clutter up the boards. He can still do a couple of different things. Okay. I actually forgot. Can we bring Dengar's uh, gunner card back up again? I just want to remind myself, let alone the other people, of what that actually does. Interesting. That's a lot of text. Yeah. <laughs> Forgot it instantly. It's too much stuff. I'm sure they're using it when it needs to be used. I believe in them directly. So right, that's right. So this forelom, if he rolls a crit, could potentially die from a direct hit, which would be hilarious. Nope, it's focused. Just an eyeball. Yeah, so the Palab does the hard two, which I think we thought he was going to do. And then Boba will come around with maybe a hard two as well. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. And then no need to boost, just focus and see where Han ends up. And then he can still hard two next turn. <clears throat> nope, just a one bank. No need to rush it. Oh, he already had the angle. Oh, it was a hard one. Okay. Yeah, we're, the chat bubble's there, so I wasn't able to see what was going on. Yeah, I would guess that Han's going to be somewhere in his range after this. Yeah. Thank you. But 
Is he going to fit there? I don't think so. No, but I'm not so sure how bad the bump is. Because now you're not taking the range one shot from Palab, and you're not taking a shot from Zuckus. So you're yeah, just taking no, one you, shot from Boba. That's true. And now he's going to be able to, you know, drop a debris next turn as well. And potentially be in a face-off with... Um, He's got a shot. Boba. He's got a shot back as well. Yeah, I mean, he's only it's not have obstructed a, or a two anything. dice shot on Bobo, which is <laughs> lame. Right. And uh, well, Bobo will have three back, but he'll have the focus though. So that's the difference. The biggest difference. You take the one hit, and he's definitely fine. <laughs> it's definitely. Whether or not he can, it's whether or not he can get out of get out of this without any damage is the problem now. Can he do that? Oh, that's a pretty good roll. I definitely spend it, hundred percent. Yeah, there's not Literally. taking any other fire. Yeah. So hit crit. Two more shields. He's shieldless. That's definitely. He's making progress. Less than ideal for Cam on that one for sure. And I think he from the what was that extra attack I rolled for? I. Was trying to figure that out myself. Oh, it might have been Dengar. He would have used the Dengar ability. Which I honestly... The one that you're still not sure of how it works. I forgot it again. <laughs> it's too much text. It's like a thousand lines. And it's like, you can spend the charge to shoot up to get an extra die on something at arc. They can remove a green token to cancel it. And close <laughs> Still don't get it. <laughs> Scum is way too confusing. There's too much crap that goes onto it. Just make it nice and clean, like like Imperial. Oh, sorry. <laughs> right? You see? It's got too much text. I don't even know what it does. It's like you can shoot back with one die. If it's in oh. Like if you're defending. Yeah. So like the pain and bot? It's so it's pain bot. Pain bot. So it's R5P8, basically. It's old pain bot. Thank you, uh, Death Revive. Thank you very much. Okay, but they can bribe to ignore. So they can spend a token... To not get access. <laughs> okay, thank you, team. Thank you, everybody. We finally figured out what this freaking ridiculous card does. Okay, so it's R5P8 in a crew, but you can spend the token to not take the effects of it. I mean, thematically, the way you describe it, that they can bribe to ignore, that's fun. That's really cool. I wish they didn't have to have so many lines and so many damage icons for it to make any sense. <laughs> Yeah, I couldn't even finish reading the card every time it popped up. So the fact, so the fact that Mike was able had to spend his focus on the hit means he couldn't. He bribe was it, open to so, the pain bot, which is why he got the free damage in. Okay, we are all there. JMB one seventeen, we figured it out. You may spend one charge if you do. You <laughs> will turn attack. Turn. Okay, so that makes sense being on a high PS ship as well. Yes, absolutely. You've probably already done your attack. It's probably going to have spent its token already against you. It's potentially interesting to get a free. Okay, cool. <laughs> that took us way longer than it should have. Well, maybe that's an example of maybe the card has too much going on for it. <laughs> they should have just wrote old pain yeah, bot exactly. spend token to ignore. Exactly, it. that's it. We all would have gotten it. I mean, of course, if you're new to them, if you're new to 2.0, too bad for you. You should have played. <laughs> that's right. But so, we got their team. Thanks, fam. So Forlom's still working his way slowly around. I don't know if he's ever going to have nah. Ark on Han. I ever. think he's out of the game for a, quite a while. Yeah, I mean, at this point, just run away and save the MOV. I think so. I think you do th two bank with him next turn, fix your weapons failure, come back eventually. Yeah, you maybe know, if you're looks, ever needed at the end of the game. Looks like he just did it now. I mean, unless the only other thing that let's see what let's see what he did with his Forlom. Sorry, with his um, Palom. Is Palab clearing? Three straight, I think so. That should clear. Yeah, yeah. Three straight will clear. So he's going to rotate arc rear maybe because he's already got the focus token. He's already got target lock. He definitely rotates arc rear. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, Why wouldn't you? He's doing it right now. Which means that Han's probably going to do a hard one ship left drop debris token. <laughs> or he's going to do the three bank to the right, ship right, and just finish off Zuckus. Uh, I, I could see that. But I think either way he's got debris. he's got too many threats on all sides. That's the thing. He's got to take something down. If he works off, if he can work off uh, Forlom, then he can figure out a way to focus around and get get. Oh no! Okay, he's going to go that way. That's an interesting choice. Yeah, because it's not going to be on the debris. I think so. Yep. Yeah, so he can't even drop another one because he's stressed now. Yeah, and he can't uh, trick. He can trick shot the Forlom, but he can't. 
Giving Bobo range one shot is dicey. We all know how dice can be. Right? Super fickle. Because this is only a... Yeah, this is a, that makes the most sense. So he is going to try to kill four along with the five attack dice that way. Or four? I, don't, I can't even keep track anymore. There's too many dice. Four and or five. I think four. Four, okay. That's a pretty good roll. It's a lot better than he rolled last time he rolled six, so... Oh, uh, and that's, that's a really bad roll. Well, that's enough to get him. So four has gone. That's what he needs. He needs one ship gone. That one wasn't posing a threat to him at the time, though. No, but at least it's dead. And he's yeah. got some breathing room. And yeah, he's going to take a ton of damage here. But if he <laughs> survives, he's got all the debris behind him now. He can rotate our, our career. He can use his trick shots. If he can take down Boba, he still very much potentially wins the game. Well, let's see what Boba can do. He's going to reroll at least one of those. No, oh, he's no, just going to focus. Duh. Yeah, that makes sense. Three hits. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he's good Dengar right now, and he rolled nothing, fortunately. <laughs> I'm never calling that card Dengar. I'm always Our calling it Pain, pain, pain Bot. Paingar, pain that's what we'll call it. New name, Paingar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a bad roll. What? Still the damage. Yeah, no. Damage he's, is damage, right? He's really getting there. That He's just got to do the same amount of damage the next round. And he just got half points on, on his uh, Han as well, which is technically 40, but who cares? <laughs> so the problem is, is if he goes... If he goes one forward to clear his stress so that he can rotate the arc, he can't drop debris. And I feel like he really wants to drop debris onto Boba's face. Yeah. And if I'm Boba, I just do a one bank so that I can use my rear arc with Marauder. Oh, yeah, definitely. And then you've got a chance to kind of come around and yeah. you've got your two ships together. Yeah. They can figure out how they want to approach it. Yeah, there's no point in chasing down when you're currently in the lead. I think, though, I think I think Kem's going to do a hard two with uh, his Han ship right. Like he wants that debris cloud with the way his arcs are pointed. His bow tie is on that side. I mean, you know, Cam is one of the most accomplished Falcon players, but big base player, especially a bow tie player too, because he's got mad reps with uh, Asajj as well. So um, I know he has a plan for this. <laughs> I'm sure he does, and it's I'm excited to see how yeah. he plays it out. Yeah. We might have lost stream. Uh, we lost power to the camera. Bear with us, Payne. Uh, we'll be back in a second. We're, well, we're still here, but we're going to try to get the camera. Here. Yeah, well. We'll, we'll, we don't know any of this. We're just here to talk. Yeah, we're just going to. The talent. <laughs> it's a comedy of errors for us today. <laughs> That's how you know it's grassroots, though. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Do it for the love. Oh, good. You can hear us. Great. Aren't you lucky? We don't have anything to say, <laughs> we, but we're just going to jabber on. We're assuming something cool is happening, and we hope that you think Cam the same. pulled out the most spectacular move you've ever seen. Nice. Back in a second? Okay. Tell them not to move their ships so we can see what happens. We hey! got an element of surprise here. Okay, so you did the hard one instead. But it's ex exactly what I thought he would do. Okay, so he doesn't have to do that. Does that clear stress? I don't think so. Not in 2.0. Is he going after Palov? I think you've got to get Boba. Because the Boba shot is not obstructed. So he doesn't want that. He doesn't want a piddly two die attack. <laughs> That's fair. Unless it's obstructed, in which he definitely takes that shot. That's a lot of dice. Oof, so that was definitely an obstructed shot. Two hits? Only two hits. That's more than two of eights. So I think the key here is, if you're going to fly this really interesting, jank-ass six attack die Han Solo, is you need actions. Yeah, that seems to be the focuses. lesson here. Ooh, what's two? He'll be rolled around with Marauder for three hits. It's, and blanks. Blank. Takes three, use pain bot, or is it only in primary arc for pain bot? No, he was in primary arc last time. Okay, so he'll probably use pain bot if it matters. Oh, no, maybe he might have forgotten. Oh, he might not have. I don't know, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Charges, thingies, dice. 
Stuff. Here's Pelob's attack. Where's the other guy? We lost it. There it is. That's uh, a hit. That's this would convenient. be a very sad face if he dies from this shot. This is what happened in the last round. Ooh, for hit crit. Ah, oh. oofa. So it turns out it's a very fun and interesting build to be able to throw six attack dice from Han, but you want actions. Yeah. And ideally, you don't want to fly tricky lists against people that you fly with who might know how you fly that. <laughs> That's list. very fair. That was actually a really fun and interesting match to see such a crazy little thing.